this video will be about how to create a support bundle on Unified Manager on a virtual appliance. As we can see over here, we have a Unified Manager server which is empty uh, in that situation, which is, is installed on 10.216.2663, which is on a virtual center environment. For that reason, I'm not showing you that. But what we need to do is that we need to open a PuTTY session. I'll bring the window over and connect it to the IP. Logging in with the maintenance user. And then we are connected towards the maintenance console. Over here we have option four. And there we have the two options. One is for the light support bundle. And by so it only uh, contains the logs and configuration database records and the default logs, but it does not hold the uh, acquisition recordings. So let's return. Again, going to support and go to the, the full support bundle. And here we also have the database dump selection, the heap dump selection, and the acquisition recordings. Mainly, this is the preferred uh, support bundle that support of NetApp requires. So what we do is then the generate of a support bundle. We press the G for the generate. We continue and we need to uh, specify the collections of performance statistics. So in this situation, it's 2023, December the 1st, and we're inserting 10 days of performance data into the uh, SQL backup. We're then generating the bundle. And we need to wait till this succeeds. So what I'll do, I'll pause the recording here. And once it's all collected and, and there, I'll re-enable the recording. Continuing the record of this string, uh, you can see now that we're adding uh, all kind of data in there. And, and by so we'll, waiting, we'll be waiting for it to succeed, to complete. As we can see now, the support bundle creation has been succeeded and it's currently saved into uh, slash support and it's been created. The secondary question is here there that you can automatically upload the bundle to NetApp. Um, this is then um, uploaded to NetApp via an HTTP uh, process, but for that you need to enable uh, all of the required ports to put that data towards NetApp. Secondly, you can also um, manually download this. And for that, what you can utilize is the SAP protocol. As you can see here, the support bond has been saved into uh, slash support. And then that's the file name. So what we're going to do, I'm going to copy that over. And we'll bring things into the folder of test in my situation. Then it prompts you for the password. And as we can see, the file is currently being copied over. The creation of the bundle and the copy of the database of the support bundle all depends on uh, the size of things. And this is all depending on how many clusters that are inserted into Unified Manager. And as an example now, within an Windows Explorer, we can find the support bundle that we're currently copying. This is a previous version of a support bundle that I copied, and this is the latest version um, also found with the uh, date stamps and timestamps of that file. 